copy files and resources down from your Moodle course, you need to add an extension to Chrome. So open up your Chrome browser and you'll need to go to the three little dots in the top right hand corner. Click on that, go down to extensions and select visit Chrome extension store. Once there, in the search the store box, type in Moodle and then hit the enter key. We're going to select Moodle Downloader from the list, click on it, and we're going to click the Add to Chrome button, and then Add Extensions. Once that's completed, you can ignore the Turn on Sync, and you'll see you have a new little icon, a little jigsaw puzzle piece. That's the extension that's going to allow you to download files from your Moodle course. So go back to Moodle, log in with your account, and navigate your way to the course you want to download files from. Once you're in the course, click on the jigsaw icon and then click on Moodle Downloader to enable it for that course. And you will then see a list of all the resources that you can download. If you only wish to select some of them, hold the control key down. And while you're holding the control key down, click on each resource that you wish to copy. If you wish to copy all of the resources, simply click on the very first one and drag all the way down to the bottom of the list. I then recommend that you make sure that both boxes are ticked, organize into folders and replace file name with Moodle name. And once they're ticked, you can click the download button. You need to wait patiently while it downloads all of the files. You'll see them zipping up the screen into the uh, download icon at the top. And you just need to wait patiently until that activity stops. And it may take a minute or two to copy those files. Once the activity appears to have stopped, you can click anywhere in the browser to close down the Moodle downloader box. And then if you go to your downloads folder, you should be able to see the folder with the name of your course and inside there will be a folder for each of the topics in your course. And in each of those will be the various resources that you have downloaded. So that should allow you to download all of those resources that you wish to keep, but you don't wish to keep the course itself.